and the blob did... starts to move. Yeah. yeah, I thought of the blob a lot at this yeah. point. Yeah, a lot of this too. Big blob bubble that's moving. The Blu-ray, yeah. amazing guys, but it's you got to get it out of Australia for the blob. Also, the remake. Yeah, the remake's awesome from '88. Um, we're gonna do a quick extra scene. You didn't give your rating. Right? I did a six. Oh, you did. Yeah, that's right. Six. 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 I'll um, I'll watch it again on Redbox or illegally yeah. or something. I'm sure it'll be on. Well, it's gonna be on Netflix. Obviously, they have the international deal, so it's gonna hit Netflix. Yeah. How long though? If it does, well, it was months, pretty packed in there, man. Months. Do you think people in around us liked it, or? <sighs> I see? I don't think people are gonna give this good word of mouth, man. I don't mm -hmm. think this is gonna. I don't think do that well. there was some, except for some dude talking randomly every so often. There was I didn't like hear anybody talk. no audible noise. They were right next to me. So. Oh yeah. Of course, I'd hear them. Yeah, I I, did, I think those people were the ones that complained when they. Well, I was like, yeah, it's too loud. It's too loud. Those were the same ones who were like, uh, oh, I guess it's over now. <laughs> I guess it's over. Yeah, I don't think they got it. And that, that's the thing. Is there was that, a really mixed crowd. Old people, young people. Yeah, there's a lot of people who uh, maybe went for Jennifer Jason Lee, went for Natalie Portman, Meh. went for Oscar, Oscar Isaac, you know. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, yeah. This is, this is the first huge disappointment of the... Of the year for me, like really huge disappointment. I see it's a difference. Oh I had God. no expectations. I saw really? one preview you saw on you. Did you know? I didn't know it was him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I tried. See, I oh, used man. to be like that. I would get really pumped for other directors' movies, but I, yeah. I found it's, except for a select few, you're gonna be let down quite a few times. You know, yeah. like Scorsese. There's not a bad film that I've seen by him. Uh, Kubrick. Yeah, he's, he's Some are a little more long-winded and less good than others, but yeah, Barry solid films. I still haven't seen <laughs> Barry Lyndon. Too long. Too, Too long. long yeah. I was going to say Guillermo del Toro, but I don't like Lady in Black. Not Lady in Black. Crimson Peak. Crimson Peak, yeah. It reminded me way too much of uh, the other well, one. You gotta see Shape of Water. Ah, oh, yeah. There's a, there's a Monday showing of Shape of Water here at 1pm, and that's the only showing. It's not even... <laughs> fuck yeah so maybe there's be one on tuesday too but yeah you got to get on that because it's going to leave theater soon i'm just is it a romantic should i see it is it a romantic story am i going to feel i, I think you should really watch it because i think you might like it um and there's a lot of really great things to like you know i don't want to talk too much <laughs> about it but um yeah, I think you should watch it and and see three billboards too. You know, three billboards. I want to see that. Who? What? I'm actually thinking about Racine again. Again, yeah. actually. I, I like Frances McDormand it. for the most part. Yeah, she's fucking great, man. Yeah. She's fucking great, man. She Love should her. team up with the Coens a lot more, though. She's married to Joel Cohen. She is. That's why she's well, in so no many movies. <laughs> Is that what directors do? They just start directing movies so they can hook up with the fucking uh, She was in his actress. first movie. They fell in love then. And that's why they got married. What about Uma Thurman? What about uh, Mila Uma Jovovich? Uma Thurman married uh, Ethan Hawke. Quentin Tarantino. She's not married to Quentin Tarantino. She is. No, she isn't. I'm telling you, dude. Okay. He just married some chick. Are you so, sure? He just married some chick who looks hot. I was fairly sure because I thought I heard it. He just had read this huge dispute, uh, dispute, man. Like, About uh, there was a big controversy. Weinstein or something. No, he 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 made her drive this stunt car, and she got all fucked up on Kill Bill Volume Two, and they had like they didn't speak for years because of it. And he just huh. released the footage. You can see her getting into the accident on the set. She, she like fucked up that. her neck. She fucked up her knees permanently. Yeah. Yeah, he's not married to Uma Thurman, man. I don't know. Why did I think that then? Because he's in love with her. He's said publicly times he was in love Oh, okay. With her. So I just... Yeah. Oh, all right. I'm an idiot yeah. then. No, it's okay. Mila Jovovich. Who else is there? She's married to Paul W.S. Anderson, yeah. Was, speaking of Event Horizon, a great concept, but like... Yeah, I, I watched... I rewatched it, um, uh, I want to say a couple of years ago, and some of the CG really doesn't hold up. And yeah, it's awkward. The zero G, like, floating stuff. <laughs> Uh, towards the end. The black dude in that movie... Lawrence Whisburn. Yeah, no, the Swissburn. other one. The uh, jacked up guy. No, I can't. I can't he was bald, but... I just remember Sam Neill and... If I just Whisburn. tell you his lines and his dialogue, you'll cringe, but he actually works in the movie. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of cool things in that movie. It's, I really like the concept. Yeah, it's 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 Dead Space. <laughs> you know, the game, basically. I never played Dead Space. Oh, well. But now I know. Yeah. And knowing is half the battle. 
So that's why when people are like, oh man, Dead Space should be turned into a movie, it's like, well, we already have Alien and we have Event Horizon. It's like, just watch those movies. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I was, uh, at the beginning, I was thinking about Alien for some reason. Of Annihilation? That, that that brings me to another thing. They say the name of the movie. Yeah, it I laughed. It's fucking cringy. It's I so laughed. bad. I'm pretty sure I laughed. Oh, I, I hate I did that. laugh. There was... I hate I, that. I do feel... I, I, I'm going to stick with my score. It was a six, but there was yeah. way too many laughs for a serious movie for uh. me. I, um... I laughed way too many times for a serious movie. Well, like you say, you're tired, so... You know, I, I was really awake and focused, and I was just, um... You know. He just and, did a bunch of Adderall. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah, I was just dropping, just taking speed pills. Um, Movies but, ain't no game, motherfucker! <laughs> but yeah, the, this is a trilogy of books, actually. Um, Annihilation, there's like the a whole, trilogy. Is the yeah. whole movie, the, is the whole movie I, one, three I've, books? I'm yeah. assuming not. I'm assuming this is just, uh, So is this gonna be his Star Wars? I, this is never getting a sequel. This is just gonna be. This is, the theater was packed, man. I don't think so. I don't think it's gonna do that well. Yeah. You know? I don't know. A lot of people might see it and be like, "Oh, that's really deep. That's really good." Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? I I mean, people. A lot be... of people think Inception's super deep. I think it's I think it's a good movie, but I think overall the whole concept is really dumb. He pulls it off though. Of just heist inside people's minds, just dreams within dreams. Yeah. I mean, I like that, but I mean, listen, The Matrix and Dark City did that kind of mindset, like, way before, yeah. you know, he did. I mean, I think it's a really cool concept, and it's smart for a blockbuster, which is nice. I mean, I mean, it is a heist movie, just where people go inside people's dreams, but I think Inception's a really good movie. I like it a lot. I like it a lot, too, but I, um... Especially when... Leo I still, was... I can't get over the concept of going into dreams... No, just not Still going. I, I can kind of. I can get down with that, but the um, how they ex, it has strict rules. How they go. I like that though. Nah. I like that. I like when a director makes rules. I like that there's rules, but the exposition dumps. Hmm. You know oh, what I mean? When they're explaining, it's, it's silly. How it goes. It feels silly every time I see it. Hmm. When I get to that point, when uh, Leonardo <laughs> is talking <laughs> to uh, young girl yeah. Ellen Page. Yeah. It's well, just like, I, I come think, on. Yeah. I think that movie handles it to a minimum, though, because I don't think Chris Nolan likes using a lot of exposition. But, um, yeah. I mean, I could see somebody being upset by that. That I mean, when, I didn't see the Inception in the theater, and that was one movie where I was just like, I was so fucking pissed at myself. I did see it in the theater. Yeah, I was, I like hated movies for a, a few span of years. I was just like really bitter, and I didn't go. Hated them? Yeah. I just, I was mad at kind of everything. And, Hmm. It's like from 09 to like 2011. I just didn't go to the theater at all. I haven't been um, before like uh before movie pass. <laughs> before I got movie pass, before I saw what's first I Tanya. The last movie I saw in theater was Force Awakens, Force Awakens yeah. which I was I've grown more fond of when I first saw it. I was really dis not really disappointed, but yeah. I was pretty disappointed. I just it's the same as the first one. Yeah, but you know it's growing on me. It's the characters are different. Well, enough. You got to see the Last Jedi then. Nah. You really appreciate the Force Awakens. I've read that you get, there's. You'll get some down on your knees and want to suck JJ's. Dick. I read that there's like tons <laughs> of political shit in it. Nah, not such, there's no political shit. In that Depresses world. me that the Black Panther has become a political movement. Um, um, it's, I mean, I've seen it, and it's. Did you like the movie? No. Okay. It's it's okay. It's it's just like a lot of the Marvel movies. It's. It's an okay one-time watch. There's the action's not shot well. There's some bad CG in it. There's some good acting in it. I like the main guy. I like and Michael B. Jordan. He's yeah, always pretty he, good. Um, he's okay. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of people praising. Does he have him, an African right? accent in it? No, no. So he, just there's, American? There's, I yeah, he's just an American accent, and uh, I like that. Yeah, because well, he it's like Tom Cruise not doing a German accent in Valkyrie. Like, yeah, they know I can't do this, so I'm not going to embarrass myself. There's something else about the Last Temptation of Christ I want to bring up. Uh, oh boy, we're going back. Huh? Another reason why I really love it. <laughs> I hate in movies when um, you're in a foreign land you, that um, speaks a different speaks language, British. but they just speak with an English accent. Right. Either yeah. do the correct accent or just do your normal one. Right. It's Last Temptation you mean of Christ. Everyone tries to do it with like a British accent. Yeah. yeah. 
Last Temptation of Christ, everyone had their normal accent. So uh, Harvey that. Keitel. Yeah. You let us down, Jesus. You mm. let us down. Yeah. That's not a good impression. <laughs> I'm pretty tired, gang. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and even like every Roman movie, everyone's just doing a British accent. Nah. Which doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it, it takes me out of the movie. You want to see a bad example? See Gorky Park starring William Hurt. A... Isn't, isn't that a peg movie about a peg? No. What am I thinking about? Gordy? Oh, yeah. I'm thinking of Gordy. Movie. Gorky Park is <laughs> Gordy. based on a novel. I saw it. It's about in uh, Soviet Russia during either the late 70s, early 80s. There's this murder and this lowly detective tries to crack the case and it leads to corruption and stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. But the corruption involves sables. For those who don't know, a sable is a small marmot, indigenous to Soviet Russia. Marmot. What is that, like a groundhog? Like a weasel. <laughs> like a weasel? Like a little ferret? Like a ferret. <laughs> yeah, exactly what they look like, like a little ferret. Oh, that's crazy. The guy, uh, Lee Marvin, wants Love to... Love Lee Marvin. He wants to use them to uh, make hats. Really? He Sable must have been hats. very old in that movie. Um, I just saw he him. Didn't look, he, he looked the same age throughout his entire career to yeah, me. Yeah, man, fucking Lee Marvin's great. Dirty Dozen. I like Dirty Dozen. Yeah. Jim Brown, he uh, he could be good sometimes. Yeah. You ever see Mars Attacks? <laughs> that Tim Burton movie, that doesn't hold up at all. You don't like it? I liked it when it came out, but I mean, those aliens look like shit now. <laughs> yeah. But other than that, do you think it's an okay movie? Would you watch it? A, a, Again? Minus the aliens. I mean... I, it's tough for me to recommend that one. I, watched I think it's it, very of the time. It's very 90s. I watched it not too long ago, maybe really? within last year. And the scenes where his head's on a dog, is that hold up? I mean, I mean obviously it's 90 CG, yeah. but the movie overall, I thought it was yeah. all right. I, I got what it was about, what it yeah. was going for. I, I just think that that's like one of those turning points for Tim Burton, kind of really going in a different direction. Yeah. But uh, That, that might have been it. What was after that? Oh, I want to say, I want to say he did that like almost after Batman began. I think Mars Attacks came out maybe like '95 or something. Um, so after that, what did it would have been like I saw it in theaters. My neighbor, I think my neighbor's dad took us. We uh, had to be '95, '96, '97, '9. '9. What up, bruh? It's definitely not '99 for sure, but it's definitely '95 to '97. Yeah, between those years. Yeah. I was a little kid when I saw it. Yeah. By little kid, I mean I was 6,000 years old. <laughs> and a lot of uh, heads exploding from uh, records being played in the back of a truck. <laughs> I like, you're late. Right. Yeah. And there's like a fun sequence in the White House and everything. There's a couple yeah. funny scenes, if memory serves. You'll never see a fucking movie like that get made again. It's just Mars too out there. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was at least it had a concept. It yeah, knew that's exactly. that's the one thing about like a that's director. That's what's fun about the '90s. You got yeah. some really weird fucking shit. But they they you went know? for it. Yeah. You know. Well, that's that's Tim Burton's thing. He likes doing really you know weird shit, which you know I, I respect that. You know, yeah. but sometimes you got to reel it in a little. That's no. a movie that's not about reeling it in, which is yeah. okay. It's totally okay. And that's kind of become a cult classic. That movie. I would. I'd recommend it if you haven't seen it. I like it. Liked it. Yeah. Chris Brosnan's right. okay. He's playing against type. What he usually does in that movie. Sarah Jessica Parker was in it. She was That's over the right. top, She's... but it's it's on purpose. It well, they had just worked together in Ed Wood, yeah. which is really great. That's Ed one Wood to recommend. is a great movie. See Ed yeah. Wood if you haven't seen Ed it. Ed Wood is uh, a way better to uh, All spend right, guys. a couple hours. I gotta I gotta say, it's a wonderful day by the <laughs> bay with some hay. So why don't you tell us your favorite '90s movies? Give me your movies. recommendations. Favorite 90s movies. Oh, boy. We're going back a ways, huh? 90s. There's a lot of hidden gems. A lot of, like, all-time classics in the 90s. Yeah. But then there's also a lot of weird, sort of quirky, you know, yeah. personals. Well, I mentioned Jurassic Park earlier, which is always nice to go back to. Mm -hmm. Nice animatronics. A lot of the CG in that movie looks better than some of the shit out uh, today. Terminator 2, that yeah. CG looks better and stuff looks better in the goddamn alien monster. Yeah. Um, 
I we were talking about the Coens, and for some reason, my Miller's Crossing has popped in my head. I rewatched it a yeah, like three, great. four weeks, maybe a month ago. Yeah, uh, it's it's a great movie. I love yeah. the dialogue, so sharp. Yeah, the cinematography in that movie is gorgeous too. Uh, Barry Sonnenfeld, who uh, shot, uh, who directed the Men in Black movies. He was the uh... he was the DP, and he lit the movie like a black and white movie, and that's why it has that just such. Just, so rich yeah just like Super, gorgeous look yeah. um yeah so yeah miller's crossing and jurassic park those are some two <laughs> those are your double tired. feature <laughs> i was as i asked i'm like wait no i have to think of a couple yeah put me on the spot it was it's rough we'll go blood simple another That's cohen's movie oh, okay <laughs> we'll go uh we'll go batman returns Batman Returns, okay, Tim Burton. Underrated, uh, underrated little picture. Everyone says it sucks. I love the That's atmosphere. Great. Um, love Christopher Walken in that. Me too. He doesn't really. He's over the he's top. A he's, out of, he's a little out of place, but he's entertaining. Yeah, he's fun. Catwoman a little out of place, but she's oh, seductive Pfeiffer's and alluring. And she's fucking great. Just all she's of her good in the weird movie. mannerisms, yeah. licking herself, and that thick red lipstick. She was fucking hot back then. Yeah, she's pretty good. Yeah. Danny DeVito, of course. The lovable Danny DeVito. he is good as the Penguin. Yeah. In that serious role. And it's sad because, you know, he's his parents left him and put yeah. him in a sewer. And kind of he has almost like a monologue The unrecognized about best Batman villain, Danny DeVito. Yeah, he's actually really good. And uh, actually kind of parallels where we're at now. A penguin is a bird that fly, that doesn't fly. I'm Running a man. Running for office. <laughs> Running for office? Danny yeah. DeVito? In Batman Returns. He oh, runs yeah. for, like, Senate. Yeah. That's why I said parallels today. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm fucking out of it, man. I gotta give... So, a, Batman Returns Batman and Batman Returns and, uh... Joe's Apartment. Joe's it's Apartment. Joe's Apartment. It's a uh, MTV-produced comedy. Oh, boy. Not, not great, but, uh, super silly, I guess. I want to guess Vanilla Ice is on it. <laughs> no, um, Steve O'Connell. Steve O'Connell. He moves man. into this apartment and it's infested with roaches and oh, the roaches talk and stuff. Reminds me. They try to help him, I guess. Really? So he's schizophrenic? Is that the twist at the end? That's what I was thinking the whole time, <laughs> yeah. But it's lighthearted, you know, stupid 90s Might have been comedy. Reminds me like, when you were saying that, it reminds me of almost like a mousetrap. You remember that movie? Yeah. That's what I thought Peter Rabbit was going to be like. No, nah, it's not that kooky. But um, since I forgot to give it last time, I'm going to give it now. And I just remembered I forgot to give it. And it's not 90s. The uh, Revenge or Return of the Pink Panther. It's the one where uh, the former inspector is in a mental institution and gets out. Very goofy. Very funny. I love Peter Sellers. I can't get enough of Peter Sellers doing an accent. I really would like to... To see all the Pink Panther movies, I haven't really seen them all. Very lowbrow. Yeah. Now, I mean, not the dry British comedy. Yeah, it's yeah. not like Adam Sandler. It's like he picks up a phone too hard and hits the guy behind him in the face. You know what I mean? Yeah. Peter Sellers is a like great that. performer. I like, I like that him. Humor. You know, I'm into that you just, drier British comedy. Yeah. It's like anything else. You got if you you're gonna relax. go do it. Just sit and relax and watch it. But the thing know? is, with some movies, if you're gonna do it, go for it. The entire movie. Don't have like a slapstick joke here. Then be a adult, Adam Sandler style. Yeah, it was a different time then for sure. Couldn't get away with much. A lot better than the uh, Steve Martin. <laughs> the movies. I haven't seen them. Um. All right, gang. I think I'm gonna. Hit the road, and this is the most proper send off I can think of. I was trying to do the 2001 sound again. <laughs> Obviously, I can't remember how to do it. I'm pretty tired. Goodbye. Oh, <laughs>